Check out this gift from RC Scepter 5665. It's my face with some stuff around it. He also sent me some pretty amazing piano improv, too good for me to keep to myself, actually, so there's a link to that in the doobly-doo. Let the final Monday of It's the Program begin. Yeah, so, Christmas is over. So, yeah. I just sort of realized that Christmas was my last big push to the end of the year. Now I face what will undoubtedly be the single most difficult stretch for It's the Program. The nebulous week between Christmas and New Year's. You see, the people responsible for slapping Christmas's date of observance on the 25th of December failed to realize that that left only one week until the end of the year. I would argue that this is the perfectly wrong amount of time. If they were only a few days apart, we could ride the recently deflated Yuletide stress and eggnog hangovers into New Year's Eve, with no chance for real life to fit in between. If they were two weeks apart, we'd have just enough time to transition back into functioning versions of ourselves, before becoming drunken slaves to yet another holiday. But with that week-long gap, we spend time recovering from Christmas, getting blood, sweat, and tear transfusions, and just when we're about to crawl back into our daily routine, New Year's comes along and kicks us right back into holiday mode. Normally, to avoid the delusion that I'd be able to get anything done in this week, I'd just lie motionless for six days straight, responding to stimuli only with slack-jawed grunts. But unfortunately, six days of slack-jawed grunting does not a video blog finale make. If anything, I'm expected to be twice as creative in these last few installments, in the time of the year where I'm least likely to be creative. If I possessed the blessing of foresight, I'd have written episodes for this week ahead of time. But I don't, so I didn't. If I'm lucky, I'll go crazy, which in addition to alleviating the stress of delivering on these last few videos, would also probably make for some pretty entertaining videos. Alternatively, you could go crazy, allowing you to find anything and everything I do in these videos to be of the utmost entertainment value. That's an idea. You should go crazy for me. Really, it's the least you could do. I've done a video every day for a year. You could certainly go a little crazy. Meanwhile, I'm wasting screen time for what could potentially be a moderately entertaining video. So, good afternoon, Bud Kickers. It's December 26, the 360th day of 2011, which means it's Boxing Day, which, despite its name, has little to nothing to do with hitting people. Unless you want it to, of course. I won't be opposed. No, Boxing Day is a day for rich people to give gifts to their servants. Aw, oh, isn't that nice? How oh, you like that, Consuela, huh? It's a brand new feather duster. I know how much you like those, and that wasn't cheap, either. Comprende? Muchos pesos. It's primarily recognized in the UK, although here in America, employers traditionally give their employees some hilariously thoughtless gifts today as well. Wow, a $5 gift card to this very store that you own. You shouldn't have. We don't call it Boxing Day, though, because that confuses us. We don't call today anything, really, except for maybe... Ugh, I have to go back to work. Ugh. Don't fret, servants of the world. Remember, you get to be drunk again in just under a week. Griff, and he still talks. Merry Christmas, everybody. Oops, a day late on that one. My bad.